This video is sponsored by BuyCheapMuttCoins.com. Make sure you guys head on over there for all your coin purchases, anything revolving mutt. Make sure at checkout you use code GS5. Helps you out. You get a nice little discount. Helps me out. It's a win-win situation, baby. Go on ahead, BuyCheapMuttCoins.com and use code GS5. What up? What is going on, guys? Your boy GS. Welcome back to another online gameplay. Today we are going with the Denver Broncos. And we are going up against the San Francisco 49ers. Now, if you guys watched the last video, Jimmy McQuid beat the living hell out of me. <laughs> like I said, I was uh, laughing some stuff, but that's by far no excuse. I'm still, you know, trying to win. And um, a little bit towards the end, uh, I kind of figured out um, how to set up what I was trying to do all game. And um, the guy picked me apart. So right there, look at that. Two-man B-gap right there that came in. That rarely happens. But as you see, we're sending some heat now. Um, that definitely wasn't happening in the last video. If you were watching, because I just couldn't get the setup right, man. But I finally got it right a little bit towards the end of uh, the video. That's why, you know, labbing is definitely important, man. You just want to be able to figure stuff out. So, um, right here, all game, you know, I'm sending, I'm sending the play, the exact play um, all game, you know, as well. Just trying to, trying to see how it works under different looks. You know, trying to see, you know, what beats it, what doesn't, what adjustments I got to make to stop certain things and whatnot. So, uh, right here, we're still trying pistol as well as on offense. Because that's something I want to be able to, again, add into my scheme. You know, uh, I definitely don't run enough pistol. So, I, I, it is definitely something I would love to be able to add in. And um, be able to hopefully, you know, su have success with it. So, right there. Nice little spin to the outside. Eat some nerds. <laughs> Got people falling over. So, uh, right here again, we're still out of pistol. And um, nice little comeback. And, and I think it's something I could work with. Not... Uh, make it like a, a base you know where th this is what i run um most often than not because my base is um is going to be uh shotgun tight so basically the the snugs formation and you know i'll sprinkle in some some uh some pistol here and there but you know he held us to a field goal so right here again here we go back again on defense trying the blitz out every single play and uh right there nice strip man for him to be able to drop that and uh, for the most part the, the blitz is uh, comes in either B gap or edge and um, again, I'm just trying to work on the adjustments to be able to know what routes Beat it so I can make the proper adjustments on the field and be able to stop it. So um, Right there. There's that B gap when it uh, you know comes in and uh, for the most part uh, it is uh, It can be unslidable, you know, sometimes you slide it sometimes it'll pick it up Sometimes you can slide protect with blocking a running back and it'll still uh, you know coming so definitely a, a uh, a nice blitz um you know when i get going with everything it's something I'll, I'll sprinkle in now and then again i don't like blitzing again i'm blitzing every play here because you know i'm working on it you know i want to be able to know uh, when i do run it uh, what are the weak spots of the defense you know so um right beautiful pad pay many throwing dots man pay many throwing dots right there um you know in a regular game i'll blitz every now and then, I don't like to blitz too much because, again, you need really good stick, uh, at least in, in my opinion, in order to blitz. Because when you're blitz, you know, um, there's going to be open holes, you know. Uh, there's not too many blitzes where you can send three or send four. So, for the most part, um, you know, you're going to have your open spots. And uh, I'm just not that good like uh, how T-Raw is where he could do the blitz and make the adjustments and have everything covered. I'm, I'm not that good. So it, for me, it's, it's a high risk, high reward. You know, if the blitz doesn't get in, if I mess up the adjustment or if they block an extra guy, or if just something goes wrong, I'm giving up a big play, you know, where T-Raw could, uh, you know, the blitz won't come in and he'll still have everything covered, you know? So, um, Right here, we're standing, right? Here. Nice little play. And you know, I definitely want to work on play actions more, too. That's what you see me working out as well. Um, if there's anybody that runs Oakland, uh, what do you guys like to run? You know, uh, maybe you guys do things differently. Maybe uh, I could uh, see what it is you guys like to do and maybe try it out myself. Like, I don't do play actions too much um, because to me, it's just uh, I don't like having that field view where it zooms in and uh it takes away from your uh your receivers a bit i don't i don't like having that taken away from me and um thomas right there just completely dropped the pass like he was wide open but uh play action is definitely something i want to be able to work on and be able to implement as well because you know uh i'm just i don't know like when somebody does play action on me um 
for the most part, you know, if there's a blitz coming, I always pass commit. So the blitz is going to get in. I already know that. So before, you know, they're even able to look downfield, they're already getting sacked. But, um, you know, so you see me working on pistol. You see me working on on uh, play action. You know, something uh, I want to be able to implement as well. So um, I think this will be like for sure, for sure, the last thing I'm going to add into the the Raiders book. And I know I'm far behind everybody. Everybody already got ebooks out and schemes. I know mine is coming out like really late, but um, it may be sooner than what I did last year. I'm pretty sure. But nonetheless, um, you know, I just really, really wanted to work on stuff. Um, right now I'm working on pistol and after that, um, you know, we will definitely be good to go where, um, I'm going to do a free mini scheme. It's going to cover probably four or five formations, you know, a handful of plays that, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that have worked for me. So, um, you know, people hit me up. So asking, so the last thing I, I want to try working on is this pistol. And after that, uh, we should be good to go. So hopefully anybody interested in checking it out, um, you know, we'll be able to find it soon. So, uh, again, the, the, uh, defense, uh, definitely worked better than last game as you can see, as you can see, cause we got the setup right more often than not. And we also have a better defensive team, you know, Denver has a really, really good defense team compared to Pittsburgh. They have a lot of playmakers. Again, we're still working on this play action man. And, and, uh, I, I kind of like it, man. I just don't like how, um, when you're in play action, if you see a blitz coming, there's nothing you can do. You know, like I can't throw the ball. I can't. You have to go through the motion, and I, I don't like that. You know, like if, if a blitz came screaming, then I just have to sit there and just take it. You know, unless I uh, break the sack. But there's other times where I know, like okay, I'm I'm sending the I'm sending the blitz display, and if I see a play action, like, oh, he's getting sacked. There's nothing. He's he's getting sacked. There's nothing he can do about it. There's nothing he can do about it. You know. So, uh, but I'm gonna try working it out. You know, if there's anybody that has a lot of success with play action. You know, let me know. Maybe uh, I need to run it more. You know, maybe my uh, fear of just getting sacked every time really isn't, uh, you know, a, a thing. You know, maybe play actions work really, really, really well, and I need to start implementing it more. But uh, definitely let me know if anybody runs like a, a heavy play action offense and you have success with it. I would uh, love to know. As you guys can see, man, we got ourselves a nice, decent lead, 38 to 0. This would be the largest comeback in the history of Madden if somehow he's, he's, uh, he's able to come back. Um, right there, he throws a pick to, uh, as I believe that, no, that's not to leave, but no, whoever it is, he's running, he's running fast and, uh, he's able to, uh, take it all the way for a pick six. So video's coming to an end guys, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We are getting a little better running that blitz, but, um, again, we're just labbing it. So I'm not going to be running it, uh, too often during games. You might see it once or twice, uh, still working on the setup a little bit, you know, cause again, I'm not the best setting it up, but when, when you do set it up correctly, it's definitely a screamer. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, man. Love each and every single one of you guys. I'm going to try my best to have a 2K video uh, for you guys tonight. Uh, my first online ranked match of me playing uh, 2K uh, with me using my bull. So I would definitely love the support on that, man. We really mean a lot of you guys could check it out tonight at 9. It's your boy GS, and we are signing out. Peace.